I'm going to be moving now to the interior of my jail cell here, but I just will point out a couple of things that I've, I've done. I've added a piece right here, a bar there, and I've added a bar on the other side, and I've removed the cylindrical bars right here, and my plan is to put a plate of glass here, sort of smudged glass, so that you can observe the prisoners uh, from here, and it just makes it... Uh, a little bit less monotonous I think okay so I'm going to be creating um, a uh, bunk bed here all right so I've got my 3d cursor uh, in there and I'm going to first of all I'm going to bring in a plane and just get the approximate size of things I want and let's scale this in the X and I'm probably going to have it pretty much the width there or the depth let's scale this in the Y That's close to what I'm going to want to do. Uh, I'm going to press the slash key. Just focus on that. And that's along the lines of what I want, I think, right there. Okay. So, with that done, I'm going to... Let's just set the origin of geometry on that. And bring the 3D cursor right there as well. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to press I to inset. I'm going to pull in. So I get a space like this. X, I'm going to delete those, those faces. Press 2 for edge selection. Shift Alt and click. Get that outer edge. E to extrude and pull up a little bit. This is the frame that would hold uh, the mattress. Before I lose that selection, I'm going to Shift D. Duplicate it up. P and break it out. I'll use that later. So I'm going to press H to hide that. So I've got this, and now I'm going to add a solidify. I'm going to keep the default values, but press even thickness. And I think I'm going to be okay with that. Hopefully it's not too thick. Actually, I might even dial it back just a little bit. That's going to be a piece of metal there. Go ahead and apply that. Go into edit mode, and in two edge selection, shift and alt to click the outer edges like this. Control B to bevel, pull this out, spread it, and put enough edge loops. I like to have one right in the middle like that. Shift Alt to click these edges here. So the top two and the bottom one. Control B, pull, be careful they don't overlap. I'll use the same number of segments. And I'll get that. Shade smooth. And I'm going to come over, put bevel, switch to angle, and then on top of that, or below it actually, I guess. Weighted normal, and then come down here and auto smooth. Okay, cool. So there's my frame for my bed. Alt H to bring that piece back. And before I work on this, I'm going to Shift D and duplicate it one more time. Hide that one. Take this one, come in, F to make face. I'm going to look down from the top, scale it. And this is going to form the uh, metal, um, I don't know what you call that. You'll see what I'm getting at in just a minute. I'm just going to position that in, scale this in the, in the Y, just so it fits. I'll start with that, and then I can scale it. Control R, I'll put an edge loop right down the middle there, so it's kind of like squares. Select the whole thing, right click, subdivide, and I'm going to go for 8 divisions I think that's what I'm going to want okay control F and I'm going to choose poke faces and then control F again and I'm going to choose uh, tries to quads just like that and now I'll add a modifier to this and it will be the wireframe hold down shift and pull to the left to make it a smaller like that and I'm also going to add bevel I just happen to like that Okay, so that's going to hold the mattress. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Okay. Alt H to bring that other piece back. I have to make face. Let's move it down. And I'm going to S to scale that as well. 
to scale the wire just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to give this some thickness. Do something like that. And then in edge selection, select the edges here. And I'm going to bevel these. Control B on pull. Give it a nice wide uh, curve. I'll do the top and the bottom. Control B again. Do something like that. Shade smooth. And you can see I've got some smoothing here. So I'm actually going to add bevel again. And I'll go for angle. And then add that weighted normal. And auto smooth. Okay, so I've got that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and this. I'll take this one for now. I'm going to be deleting, but I'm going to look from what would be the front and I'm going to shift D and duplicate and just imagine that the other prisoner is sleeping maybe there. I'm actually going to delete that one and take this one and push it down. So I only want a mattress on, on one of them. Just to where I see that. Okay, so I can see that there and I can see that there. Cool. Okay. Now let's make the bars. We get a plane, one for edge selection, sorry, vertex selection. Delete those. I've got those. I'll bring it a little closer. Look from the front. I'm going to scale those in and have it just sort of outside the frame there. Okay, I'll pull it down and imagine the floor is there. I'm going to press E to extrude, pull it up, then go to wireframe if I want to see how high. I'm going to start with that. And I'll select the, well, let's see, and two, I'm going to select those edges, X, and we'll go only uh, edges and faces. And I've got that, all right? Come back to here. Let's select these actually in F to make a face. Now with those selected, let's shift control B to bevel that. Pull, and I'll keep the same number of vertices in there. We can do something like that. Okay, now let's convert that to a curve. Come over to the curve dialog box under geometry and shift and pull. what I want. Okay, I'm going to come in and I'm not going to scale this in the Y. I'll just tuck it in like that. And imagine these pieces are like bolted to that. So just looking at this, um, I might bring this one up just a touch like that. Okay. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to select these two vertices. Shift D. Pull down, I get another bar P to break it out. All right, I'm going to come in, look from the front, scale this in the Y until it makes contact. And I will make this a little thinner as well. So pull down, shift, and pull. And just a little bit thinner than the other one. Something like that. I'm going to shift D and move that to about the bottom of the frame. I'm just looking at the thickness of this and 0 0.012. I might make this 0 0.015 and do the same for this one. Okay, like that. I'm going to take this one. We'll set the origin of geometry on that. I'm going to shift D and rotate X 90. I'll come in, I'll grab that point, and just pull it down in the Z. And I'll take this point and pull it up a little bit. And I'm just going to move that over to here. Have a look at that. I just want to move it up a little bit. Looks okay. I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor and we'll add a mirror. Like that. 
get them on the other side as well. Let's take this down. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And that means I'm going to have to come in here and do this. And just tweak the settings so you get what you like. Okay. We could uh, we could mirror that as well. And uh, let's see. We could join those and mirror them. It's very quick. the basis of our bed right there. Let's come down here though and select that. Shift S cursor selected, bring the 3D cursor there. And actually let's take those two points. Shift D. Let's scale that in the Z for the moment. Let's P to break it out. Pull it down here. And come over to the curves and change the size of that and make it bigger like this and then I can adjust the size just like that and we'll go for something like that and then what I'll do is I'm going to switch this resolution to 4 I'm going to switch this one to 2 and then I'm going to convert this to a mesh okay Pull that down. E and S come in a bit. E come up. E and S just come in like that. And then I'm going to shift alt and click uh, those two edges and control B. Roll my mouse back to just a one and control one for a subdivision of one. I could go into two if I really wanted to. And now as I look at this, I realize I want it a little bit wider, so. And in, in face selection, shift all to click those faces to something like that and scale shift Z. Maybe I'll go one more. No. Scale shift Z and just widen it out. And bring in another edge loop down there. Okay, I might I might just bring this up to two. I'm not really too worried about my polys. Okay, and it's uh, mirrored there, so let's just try a mirror. Uh, there we go. So I get them all around. Before I move any further, let's look at that. Everything's okay. Um. Yeah, and at, really at that point it could stop. Um, I was thinking of doing uh, one other thing, but let's just make sure. And those are not so, so visible here. Ah. Ah, okay. So what have I got going on here? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's put this back there. There was a problem with that. Okay, maybe saw that and no, I didn't, but we're okay now. Um, yeah, okay. Let's have a look at how it looks in here. Let's just hide that plate. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the parts of my bed. Let's just start grabbing a few pieces here and there. And go M, new collection, and call it bed. And then I'll hide it so I can grab other pieces. M, bed. I think I got everything. I'll bring that back. And select it. And start bringing it into place. 
I was thinking of a little bit more here. I'll show you what I'm getting at. It's nice to keep focus on that. Let's grab, say, over here. Let's come in here. Okay, so I got this. I'm going to shift D and bring that up and scale it. And P to break it out. Let's turn the mirror off. I got that piece right there. I'm going to take that piece and convert it to a mesh. And I get this. Okay. Put an edge loop there. Look from the front and focus on that. Go into wireframe and one for vertex selection. I'm going to box select that central vertex and cursor selected. I get it on both sides, so it's right in the middle. And I'm going to box select those, but I'm going to switch over to 3D cursor. So my pivot point is right there, and I've got these selected. I'm going to come down to shear. I've done this before. Click, bring that out and change the offset to one and come back to my usual cursor there. Box select these and delete them. Select the whole thing. Shift the rotate Z 180 and it'll rotate around the pivot point. Select it all. M merge by distance and I get rid of some. Let's go back to medium point. And just box select just those top ones there and extrude them up. Scale Z zero to straighten it. Okay, I'll grab these and these and I'm gonna scale in the wides, pull them in a bit shorter like that. Let's go back and look at this thing. I'm going to select this and just pull it down now. I'm actually going to scale the whole thing like that. And get it roughly central. And then I'm going to select this edge, E and S, and just bring it in so it makes contact with the main bar there. Bring that in and then Shift Alt and click those edges there. Control B and pull, and I'm gonna have just one segment. Just like that. E and S come in like this. E come up like that. E and S come in like that. E and come down. And then I'm gonna bevel these edges. Control B just with one segment. I'm gonna bring an edge loop over to the side there and over to the side there and down like that and then I'm going to go control 2 and that's a little bit sharp for me there so I'm going to pull this down so I'm going to pull that edge down and uh, oh I guess I got a couple of them I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to delete that one dissolve edges and then pull that one back up I don't need it so that's super sharp and uh, I'm going to do the same here it just all that. Let's see. Okay. Uh, just want to adjust where I want this. So I'm going to select here and here and scale this in the Y. Just pull it in. And what I was thinking of is uh, on these posts would be some kind of monitor for the prisoner um, to monitor their movement or their brain waves or whatever. So I'm going to select another circle here, Shift D to duplicate it, and P to break it out. I'm going to take off the subdivision surface and scale it a bit. I'll bring it down, and I'll create like a little tube that still may be too wide. So um, I'm going to scale Shift Z. I want it narrower like that. I can just shade smooth that and close this up if I want in a bit. So let's come up here and shift and alt and click that edge and bring my 3D cursor there. And then I'm going to bring in a UV sphere, but I'll just have the resolution of that. 16 and 8 is fine. Scale it down. Rotate Y90. And select that vertex and control plus. Maybe I'll come right out to there. X of vertices. Take the whole thing and let's SX scale in the X to sort of flatten it out. Take this E and S, come in like that. E and come back a bit. Maybe scale in and just, um, I think E and S and F is going to be done with it. Control 2. And we will add just a couple of edge loops. You're not going to see this side. So uh, I'm just going to pretend that it does something on that side, if that makes sense. Let's pull this forward. 
and then we'll do a bit more work on this and then adjust the size of everything. So let's take this and delete that vertex and then shift alt and click those. Just come out something very simple. I just want enough room for the bar to connect there. And then E and S come in. Um, e come out, last one. E and S and F to close it. And a couple of edge loops here and there. You know, as much as you want, as sharp as you want to make that. Something like that. And then, so that would go on like there kind of thing. And then I was thinking I would take this again, Shift D. Where am I? Pull it up. Let's scale this in the Z. Okay, this one is going to attach back there. Oh, that's why. Let's scale Shift Z again, a little bit narrower. Come in here. Let's pull that down. It's S to scale. I have to make face. And then Control B to bevel. Just watching. I don't cross over in the middle to roll up a bit. Antenna, as you can tell. Let's come down here. One subdivision or no subdivisions. I actually pull that in. We do a little bit more stuff here. Actually, I'll just put one edge loop. Ah, what am I doing? Put one edge loop here and then split it. And this roll my mouse up makes a few segments and then shift alt and click some edges like this maybe that really not edges spaces faces just saying a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense tonight pull those in and then i'm going to add bevel shade smooth angle and i guess i'll do all the stuff down here Okay, so I get that. Now I'm going to come in here. I mean, let's look. Is that okay? I might. Uh, what do I need? Maybe one more edge loop just to. Yeah, okay. Um, just choose something central. Shift S, cursor to selected. Um, yeah. And then take this and switch over to 3D cursor. And I'm going to just rotate in the X and just to angle this over like, uh, like that. Now I'm going to take all this stuff here. I'm not done with that, I guess. But I'm going to go M. No, I'm going to come back. But I've got those stuff there. I'm going to go M, new collection. I'm going to call this uh, bed antenna, just for lack of a better name. And I'm going to just pull it into the whole thing so I can just do that. Or I can come in here and bed antenna. I can select it. And uh, actually, before I do that, let's fix that. And then just come in here. Select them. Focus on that. So now I'll just uh, actually, let's hide that so I can see. Uh, shift off to click those, and I'm going to, I mean, anything else? Select it all. Back to there. And let's go scale Shift Z. And just pull that in. Let's turn that back on and decide I don't want another edge loop. That's fine with me. Select that there. And let's bring another one up and blow some polys. We could do collection instancing, but I don't care that much. Um, let's come in here actually before we lose uh, our selection here. Let's go just with that let's just go m new collection bed antenna 2 so i can select it easier where is it out there pull it into the bed okay bed antenna bed antenna 2 okay let's come in here and uh I'll just select something circular i could probably select the whole thing but i'll do that Shift S cursor to select it. Just bring the 3D cursor there so that I can take uh, this stuff here, switch back to 3D cursor, and then I can rotate in the Z and I can just do something a little bit different. Oh, that's hitting, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, let's rotate in the Z again. What I was actually thinking for this one is putting it on this bar here. 
diameter of this bar is a little bit different, but still, I think it's still okay. Just to create a little bit of difference uh, there. Let's double check on my polys. Yeah, we got some of this stuff. All of these things here. Calculate those. I think we're okay now. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've done with the shadow. And okay, I'll just show you like that. And it looks like I'm gonna select that. You can't see. I'm gonna go G Z. I'm gonna move this. I can see a little bit better when it's on the floor, right about maybe there. Okay. I'll just show you with the different matte caps. So again, you're not going to see this inside, but just assume that it's some kind of monitoring device. And then, like I say, I will have a glass plate here. I mean, that's my plan. Anyhow, you can walk by and, and look at the prisoner, prisoners. All right, so a simple uh, piece of furniture. Uh, for those anybody interested, I am not going to model a toilet. I do not feel like modeling a toilet. But I'm going to do a fan back here and some shelving, I think, and some other stuff all right now is this bed being propagated down it's not right now i could take this and throw that into jail cell and i now i would see it here um yeah and we've got that glass plate there okay so that's it for this one we'll see you the next time